Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. Trying to put it into an area. This is great opportunity in Westlake. Left and right and across the body inside the post. And Captain Canada has got himself a goal. Greg Westlake has achieved a lot during his 20 plus years with Canada's Para ice hockey team. A gold, a bronze, and three silvers at the Paralympics. Flag bearer in Beijing 2022 and three world championships. The list goes on and on. But his latest honor will put the ideal capstone on his career as he heads into retirement. So when I first found out I was selected for the uh, Disability Hall of Fame, it, it was a huge honor because I was a kid that grew up not necessarily knowing about adaptive sport and knowing about Paralympic sport. I just grew up playing able-bodied sports and, and tried my best. And I had so many years of heartbreak and so many years of being told that I couldn't keep up with other kids and I wasn't good enough. And, and I didn't know where I could let my competitive outlet be. And, and, and I spent a lot of years searching for that. And when I was finally, you know, 15, 16 years old, I found the sport of para ice hockey and I fell in love with it. So for me, it's just, mind-blowing that this kid who was lost for 15 years of his life that just wanted so dearly to play hockey for Canada and finally found this avenue to do it was life-changing for me. So to go in is, a, uh, is an incredible honor and I'm very happy to do it. The Canadian Disability Hall of Fame was founded in 1994 by the Canadian Foundation for Physically Disabled People to recognize Canadians who have made extraordinary contributions to enriching the quality of life for people with physical disabilities. Vim Kochar, the Foundation's founder and chair, says Greg was an easy choice for the honor, not only because of his achievements on the ice. Canadians pick up, McGregor shoves to the front of the net, the slow motion tap in. Yet another goal for Canada, this time it's Greg Westlake but also his dedication to the Paralympic movement. Some of the candidates are unanimous from the very beginning, like they outshine, they have done more, they have accomplished more, they are doing more, and Westlake is one of them. Uh, he's been there forever in hockey. He has done so much in Paralympic as an athlete, and that's how uh, Greg Westlake was elected. While his days terrorizing opponents and scoring goals for Canada are behind him, his true impact always went far beyond the ice. I hope that my story can be growth of the game. I hope that my story, because I said yes to everything. If you wanted me to get on a 5 a.m. flight, 4 a.m. flight, fly somewhere for a 10 minute interview to talk about the growth of para ice hockey, sledge hockey, whatever it was, I was a yes all day. And I spent 20 years with the Canadian Paralympic Committee, the Canadian Olympic Committee, Hockey Canada, every corporate sponsor that would listen, I would tell them, you asked me to do something, it's a yes, send me a plane ticket, I'm in. And so, I'm an athlete first and foremost, I'm a competitor, but I'd be remiss if I didn't say how passionate I am about just growing. Uh, it started with hockey, the great game of hockey and, and para hockey, and, and then kind of snowballed into all of para sport, an accessible sport, and then that turned into just everyone. Like, I, I want everyone to feel the benefits of sport from, from young kids to people who are in a tough financial situation to people with disabilities. I just, I see what it's given me and it's given me everything in my life right now and I just want everyone to have that opportunity. Greg's commitment to sharing the power of sport is also reflected in his post-hockey career. On the host of level playing field and beyond the field and I love doing it. I love being on camera. I love doing all these things. So I would love to produce more television. I would love to take two shows, make them big and, and run it even bigger than we've ever done. You, you know, I, I want to take people with disabilities, I want to take Paralympic champions and make them household names. And I believe that with the great team behind me, I believe I can do that. On top of his work as a broadcaster, Greg is also looking to shatter some barriers in the hockey world. I'm still very passionate about hockey and I would love to also be one of the first Paralympians to move into NHL, to move into high performance hockey. Maybe, maybe it's with the women's team, maybe it's with a, a men's junior team, maybe it's in the NHL. But right now, we are seeing such a paradigm shift of women getting opportunity, you know, people of color getting opportunity. And, and one thing that I am very passionate about, and I'm not trying to put down any other minorities, but often as disabled people, I do feel like we get the last look. And I wanna be someone that changes that. And I wanna be somebody that says, hey, if you're born into a tough situation, 
physically, mentally, it doesn't matter. If you work hard and do the right things, you can get to where you want to go. And I really believe that.